Finance Minister Randers Borg Enterprise Minister Rani Loof and Education Minister Jan Bjorklund said AstraZeneca's shareholders should seriously consider rejecting Pfizer's plan unless there was clarity on its impact. And AstraZeneca, which was formed from an Anglo-Swedish merger 15 years ago, has rebuffed Pfizer's current offer but the U.S. group is widely expected to return with a sweetened bid. AstraZeneca's chief executive has not ruled out discussions at the right price. And Pfizer has given a five-year promise to have 20% of its research staff in Britain where AstraZeneca has its headquarters but it has not spelled out what this means in absolute numbers. And at the same time, the U.S. company has said that the overall research budget of a merged group would be lower than the sum of the two companies' individual research budgets. And the numbers suggest Sweden is right to be worried. And Pfizer currently has around 11,000 staff working in research worldwide, while AstraZeneca has 9,000, and the two companies together employ 3,450 in Britain, 2,600 at AstraZeneca and 850 at Pfizer, representing 17.25% of the combined total. And but AstraZeneca plans to shed 400 research posts by 2016 as it moves to a new site in Cambridge suggesting that research centers in Sweden and the United States will have to take a larger share of future job cuts if Pfizer is to hit its 20% target. And in Sweden, AstraZeneca employs 5,900 people of whom 2,200 work in research and development R&D, representing 25% of the independent company's R&D total. An semi-hostile offer and Sweden has in the past been reluctant to agree to European Union rules that would require public interest tests for business deals but Borg said Pfizer's semi-hostile bid might force a rethink. And, essentially, we want to retain an open regime. But at the same time, if you'd behave in the way that Pfizer is doing, then you undermine the legitimacy of that open regime, he told reporters. And Borg, Prime Minister Frederick Reinfeldt and opposition leader Stefan Lofven have previously expressed fears the $106 billion approach would lead to job losses in Sweden. Enborg, Luf and Bjorklund said in a signed opinion piece in the Wall Street Journal that the guarantees offered by Pfizer over retaining research and jobs in Europe were not sufficient. And, if there is no further clarity regarding the effects of Pfizer's possible semi-hostile takeover of AstraZeneca, our conclusion is that AstraZeneca's owners should seriously consider rejecting Pfizer's proposal, the ministers said. And, Pfizer's potential takeover could be interpreted as a sign of short-term capitalism, which we believe is not in the interest of important life science research in Sweden, in the UK or elsewhere. And, additional reporting by Ben Herschler and Nicholas Pollard, editing by David Stamp, and back to top and Thomson Reuters is the world's largest international multimedia news agency, providing investing news, world news, business news, technology news, Headline news, small business news, news alerts, personal finance, stock market, and mutual funds information available on Reuters.com, video, mobile, and interactive television platforms. Johnson Reuters journalists are subject to an editorial handbook which requires fair presentation and disclosure of relevant interests. NNYSE and Amex quotes delayed by at least 20 minutes. NASDAQ delayed by at least 15 minutes. For a complete list of exchanges and delays, please click here.